Don't it look like my hair? It does. You see nothing but scalp, okay? in between I'm back with somebody else's hair and scalp and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 so we have a green tea today I know it's called wine and wigs day but we got two bags of green tea y'all tell me what you're drinking down below it don't matter what's going on in my hand because what's going on on my scalp is much better you see this it's a wig girl you can't tell can you tell you probably can't tell well you're here so you know <laughs> it's giving healthy hair journey it's giving i use rice water like before we get into this hair let's talk about me can y'all subscribe can you hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time i post because i'm coming to y'all every single week three videos a week let's go ahead and get into the details on this beautiful hair that looks like it's just sprouting out of my scalp first i want to say thank you to chris beauty hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video but it's spelled xrs beauty hair so this wig is another clear lace wig this wig is a tight curly 13 by 6 lace frontal wig and when i say 13 by 6 lace frontal we're talking about part in space back to home they can't clock you, okay? Because you know the girls are always trying to clock. Don't it look like my hair? It does. You see nothing but scalp, okay? It's 18 inches long and it is 200% density. But then let's go ahead and pop the hood. Let's see what's under the cap. You have four combs and adjustable straps in the back. They also give you an extra elastic band in the back to make sure she's fully secure so you can wear the wig with or without glue. Let me go ahead and give y'all some details about this lace though. So, this wig came pre-plucked so you see this hairline that she's giving right now y'all see this hairline i'm giving i ain't do that they did that i ain't got nothing to do with that it also came pre-bleached so they bleached like the front part right here girl they bleached you can't see them this hairline is done okay that's it so when you receive the wig it's pre-bleached it's pre-plugged you pull it right out of the package they also provide us with gifts they gave me a brown skin wig cap a comb alligator clip the elastic band a baby hair brush perm rods and a cute little brochure for the girlies love the gifts chris beauty hair love it when it comes to the lace i want to show y'all a full comparison so you understand what clear lace is and what she does for the girls so there are different types of lace out there girl they got all types they got hd lace they got kryptonite lace girl they got all types of lace out here clear lace is the new girl in town and she's taking names okay she's taking your man let me show y'all the difference between three types of lace so i have transparent lace clear lace and we have brown lace as you can see in the comparison between all three laces clear lace literally melting into my skin as you can see the clear lace is giving skin between the three types you can see that the clear lace melts a little bit more into my arm melts more into my skin it was clear like they said it was transparent be lying she's a new girl in town and i'm gonna stick beside her so using that type of using the clear lace makes it so much easier for the beginners and those of us that don't know how to blend lace don't know how to use lace tint none of that it makes it so much easier i don't use the ball cap method y'all know this i'm not that girl it ain't me so i did have to kind of conceal a little bit because when they say this lace is clear it is clear she is see through like a pair of pants from city trans girl you don't have to use the ball cap method if you do it like me i'm gonna show you how to work around it you don't have to use ball cap method you don't have to pluck and you don't have to bleach the knots all i had to do was style these curls and plop her on my head and apply the wig as i would like so if you want to see everything i did to apply this wig what this wig looked like initially everything we did to make her look like she's looking right now like giving you root realness please keep on watching and i'll be back let's go ahead and get started first of all can y'all see my makeup mask <laughs> let's go ahead and get started you already know how i start what i start with 
the wig grip. The wig grip is right here. Bow. Now this is a new wig grip. This is the Red by Kiss adjustable Velcro wig band. I got it from my local beauty supply store. I wanted to try something brown plus my old wig grip girl. She keeps getting stuck to my head. She real velvety. She real velvet. Okay, let's go ahead and throw on the wig cap. I want to try on the wig. I've already defined the curls. I did use the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. And I also use the Cantu for Shea Butter and Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. And I also used my 572 Evolve Brush. I like for the curls to be really, really defined and I want them to look more natural and not give um, telephone cord. Hey, I wanted to jump in and give y'all a few more details on how I styled these beautiful coils. First, this wig was not washed. This is how she looked right out of the pack. Just dry out the pack. And what I decided to do was not wash the hair, but define the curls without having to wash and then redefine the curls twice after styling. So I decided to do it off of my head because curls once you mess with them and you tussle with them too much, girl, it, it starts to fluff up a bit. So I decided to, like I told y'all, use the Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse as a base to wet the hair because it's a water-based product. And then I topped it off with the Cantu Curl Moisture, Curl Activator Cream. Now, I use the Curl Activator Cream to seal the mousse it did a great job of defining these curls. The one thing that I don't like about the Cantu Curl Activator Cream is that it did break out my skin way back when I was putting it in my hair. So I had to be careful. I can't put it on my natural hair, but I can put it on wigs and it works like a dream. But if you do have products that you use on your curly hair or on your wigs coily hair please let me know because i do want to try out new products but this combination worked great especially with my evolve 572 brush and that thing is like 7.99 from target so it's a really good brush and it's i've had it for years and it hasn't fallen apart i think i probably lost one tooth and that's it so as you can see i'm just taking smaller sections and adding the mousse and then the curl activator cream and then brushing the Evolve 572 brush through it just to get those coils come together. And then once we let it dry, then you can fluff out the hair, but I will let it dry while the curls are clumping and then fluff it out later so you can get a little bit more definition if that's what you're looking for. But this is the final look. Y'all tell me what products y'all like down below. So it has like the little bra clips on it. So I'm gonna clip I'm gonna clip this on one side. So I'm just gonna clip the strap all the way to the end because I got a tiny head. I already know that it needs to be small. So let's go ahead and try her back on. I wanna see if I can make her tight because, ooh. This hair is gonna be drying this whole entire time. We may have to diffuse and get the hair to completely dry. But in the meantime, in between time, we're just gonna go ahead and style. The hairline is pre-plugged. All we need to do is get this hairline together. So I'm going to use a wax stick on the hairline. We're gonna use the ZLA Hairline Master. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is a wax stick. This is what the wax stick looks like. Basically a big old chapstick. And what we're gonna do is pull the wig back and I'm gonna add the wax stick on it, but then we're also going to use a hot comb. I'm just gonna be combing through the roots. That's it. I'm gonna take the wax stick and we're just gonna go ahead and place it where it's going to be used. This also tames the flyaways for me because I'll be having flyaways all over the place. It gets stuck in my lace when I'm trying to apply the wig. Girl, it's just a mess. So I'm just adding the wax stick wherever the flyaways need to stop flying away. I'm going to be using the Andis hot comb. That was really close to my forehead. I'm just gonna take this hot comb and I'm going to... Oh, y'all hear that cooking? Be careful. So I'm just gonna take it and just flatten that out. Oh, that flattened it out real good, didn't it? It sure did. I'm gonna do the same length Thing for the hairline I want the hairline to be like flat I want it to go like that y'all see all that fire oh lord
Okay, so that has been flattened, girl, we did it. All we have to do now is cut off this lace. Now, where is my, where are my scissors? So, in order for me to cut this lace, I'm gonna use my Annie shears. I think I've had them for years. They're probably dull. They're probably as dull as kindergarten scissors right now. But, I've been using them for years. When I cut my lace, I make it real easy and simple. I cut it down the middle and I just follow the hairline all the way across. I'm just gonna cut down the center first. And then I'm just gonna cut across the hairline and follow it like breadcrumbs. Lace is cut, now y'all already know what time it is. It's time to apply the lace. I'm using the Olive Oil ORS Wig Grip Spray. Now, I've been using this lately and I've been loving her. So, I'm just gonna spray across the forehead. I used to do it in sections, but now I'm just spray across. Y'all know I got a double fist. So we're using the uh, Revlon blow dryer without the diffuser. The diffuser don't help nobody. And the ORS Olive Oil Spray. Do I have a napkin or something all i could grab was a toilet paper roll girl <laughs> so i'm just gonna take the spray and just whoosh, hit them with the twist okay okay oh oh there's a mess oh 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 toilet girl down the middle of the forehead forehead just gonna be as sticky as a candy cane blow dry for a couple seconds i'm gonna blow dry on high and cool and we're just gonna attach let's see what happens Okay, y'all, so I removed the gunk that I typically have when I apply my lace. She's giving scalp. She's giving my hair. You gotta take the rat tail comb. And I'm gonna cover up this wrinkle in time that I have right here on my lace. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the baby hairs. I like to take a little bit of hair. So you don't have to worry about thick baby hairs. Now, if you want thick baby hairs, girl, just pull out a ponytail on the front of your forehead. <laughs> I'm gonna take my scissors and then chop the hair down. I like it short. Boom, like so like it. I'm also gonna part the other side so they're even. Ooh, it is plucked to perfection. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna cut that too. For baby hairs, I'm going to use the baby hair brush that they gifted me. We're going to be using Got to be glued gel to lay down the baby hairs. I know, I know your baby hairs are gonna be crunchy, but I'm just gonna take some and add some to the brush. Let's ruin this baby hair brush again today. And we're just gonna lay down the hairs. 
And then I'm just gonna take some of the other hairs behind it and we're just gonna, we just laying and swooping. Look at that baby hair, ooh, she cute. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side and I'm going to do the ear tabs as well. So we did a little trim trim. Oh my God, this hair is looking so good. All I need to do is just kind of blow dry this hair down. This part is still a little bit wet. So let's go ahead and blow dry. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Revlon. Y'all already know her. Y'all know her? Say hey girl. This is the Revlon blow dryer with diffuser and I'm just gonna blow dry the hair down. So this can fluff up and we get the biggest, most gorgeous Girl, we got some wet clumps. Let's go ahead and blow dry it a little bit. Y'all, this is the finished look. Do y'all love it? Do you love it as much as I do? Because it is gorgeous. I, I don't care what you say, girl. This hair, I haven't actually fluffed her up as much as I can, but I'm just gonna fluff up some of these pieces. Let's pull some of this hair over and fluff. I cut it myself. I mean, obviously I cut it, so the hair is not gonna be even because y'all know I don't know how to cut. This is one of the most natural wigs that I've ever put on. Like, look at it. And it was such an easy application. Like, if you're new to putting on wigs and you wanna try like a least frontal, moisturize the hair up, and that's it. Like, oh. My husband loved it. I showed it to him. He was like, wow. Oh, and then you could do like a little tendril peak. Oh, I always get in something in my eye. The hair back like this. Like you could do so many different styles because it looks so realistic. Let me show y'all the back. Hold on, let me fluff up the back because the back be looking funny because I split it in two. Ooh. Let me quit shaking my head. That is annoying. I know, I'm sorry. Y'all tell me what you think about this hair down below. Y'all know we love it easy, simple, dimple. We love easy, easy wig applications. If you love an easy wig application and you love wigs that look like your natural hair, please check out the links down below. Of course, I have a link for this wig 
down below but before you do that you need to check and see if we have a coupon code and we do we have a limited time coupon code so the coupon code is a limited time coupon code she don't last forever so if you would like to get this wig of course you can use my coupon code the coupon code is for 15 percent off get your money off save your money it's christmas time girl every little coin matters that's all y'all i don't have i don't have wine right now thank y'all so 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 much for watching i love you all y'all let me know what you think about this wig and tell me do you like natural textured wigs more than straight texture wigs i do you already know i do i love kinky curly i love kinky straight if y'all do like those more please let me know down below because i'm gonna keep looking for them so i can do more reviews on those sort of wigs because they're much more realistic for me you know anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye. <laughs>